Hello there. Today we're going to speak about motion and describing motion. So I'll introduce vectors and scalars, we'll understand position, learn the difference between distance and displacement, and we'll have some practice questions along the way. So first of all, vectors and scalars, two different things. A vector is anything that has a size and direction. It has a magnitude and direction. Scalar has size only, magnitude only. So, for example, time is a scalar because time is a number. 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. There is no direction. You do not say 5 seconds up or 5 seconds left. No, just 5 seconds. A vector will have a direction, so you could say like a force. I will push something with five newtons of force in a direction. I'll push it right, I can push left, up, down, as we like. So in class we went through the differences. We have distance and displacement, speed and velocity, and then other ones like mass, time, energy. There's a few more like power and so forth, but we don't need to know too many. For vectors, we had acceleration, force, momentum. We aren't studying this yet, but we did study these four, and we did study these four. So distance means I have five meters. I traveled five meters only. Displacement, I have to have a direction. Where did I go for those five meters? That's vectors and scalars. There are some key vocabulary that we used. We had origin, position, motion, frame of reference, distance and displacement kind of mentioned these two already now so let's get on with the other main words so distance displacement as i said distance total length traveled scalar size only displacement direct length from start to finish vector it has magnitude size and direction okay so there it is all unblanked the unit for both is the same both of the units are meters Here's another way of seeing it. You can see that a distance, for example, is the path that I traveled. But in this case, the displacement is the direct line from start to finish. So I do not care about the whole path I traveled. That is not my displacement. That is my distance. The displacement is the final minus initial. Keep that in mind. We'll talk more about that later on. So motion itself is a change in position change in where you were with respect to a fixed point. So if we have a graph, 0, 0, if I had a graph, in the middle is 0, 0, that would be the fixed point, the starting point. From there, uh, we can move. We call this a frame of reference. These words are not too important for us. It's mostly the calculations and things that you will be asked to do. So if you wanted to describe the motion, you will need to know the position, where it is, and the time, how long it took to do this thing. So starting with position, as I mentioned, it's how far away from the origin you will be with the direction, which means it'll be a vector. It has a magnitude and direction. We will use x for the position. The unit is meters as well. So it's an example. This is A at 4. Remember, we normally start from 0. To find the position, we just see how far away he is. We can see that he is 1, 2, 3, 4. He is 4 meters away. So I can say positive 4, because this side will be plus, this side is minus, as you can see. Or you can say 4 meters to the right. Both are fine. Similarly, starting from 0, looking at this position here, we can say A is minus 3 meters or three meters left. Do not say minus three meters left. That doesn't make sense. Either say this or say this, this part here. Okay, final one. You look at A, you can see that he is on the zero position. So it's zero, nothing else there. Another example here from this one, A, five meters up or positive five, four meters down, negative four, as you can see. And this again is zero. So this is what position is, how far away you are from the origin. That takes us on to distance and displacement. Starting with distance. If I started at A, then I moved to B. What was the distance that I traveled? Well, you can see that I traveled a total of three meters between one and four. That was three meters I traveled. That's my distance. 
If I wanted to mention displacement, just for fun, displacement, I would say the same, three meters to the right. I add a direction. So another example that we did was the same thing here. I went from here to here. You can count. You can do final minus initial. We're going to get to that later. But otherwise, if you see this, you can just count from here. One, two, three, four, five. I counted five meters to the left. Distance will be five meters. Displacement will be five meters to the left. And we did many, many more examples of this. I'm not going to go through them all with you. Uh, we did them in class. You can try them yourself. So... Displacement, we can say, is the change in position. I already know what the position is. I know I move from A to B. That's two different positions. I can say the change in position. It's a vector. It's in meters. And this is the letter we will use, the delta X. This triangle is called delta. It means change. Change in X. X is position. Okay. So shortest length between starting and finishing with a direction. I don't care how many stops I took, I don't care how far I went, if I started here and I finished here, I don't care if I did all of this and then I finally got to here. It's a long distance. I only care about here, straight to here, how far away this is, to the right. Maybe 10 meters, maybe 5 meters, I don't know. But you can find out. XF minus XI. This will be my XF. I could say this is 5 meters. This is my xi. I can just say this is 0 starting. Final minus initial, 5 minus 0. That was 5 meters to the right. That's a quick example there for you. This is the important stuff you need to know. This is the formula that you would use to find the displacement. Final minus initial. So, a quick example here for you. I went from A to B. What was the displacement? So you can use final minus initial. I finished at B. I started at A. So I will say this is my final and this is my initial. I'll put it into my formula. I will say XF minus XI. I will do 4 minus 1. You will get 3. Which kind of makes sense, right? Because it's 1, 2, 3. Easy enough. So you'll see that this is positive because he went to the right. If it was negative, then you know he goes to the left. Like in this example. He went from A to B again, so you will do the same thing. You know I, you know F, because I started at A, this is the initial, finished at B, this is the final, final minus initial. I will say minus 4 minus 1. If this one was negative, I will write minus and I would write negative 1. But in this case, no need. It's just 4 minus 1, or minus 4 minus 1. Put that in your calculator, you will get minus 5. So don't get it wrong. Don't think minus 4, minus 1, that becomes 3. No, because you're going to the left, it becomes more minus. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this is a difference of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like we did earlier. So that's how you will do it. Okay, minus 5 is fine, or 5 to the left. And we did way more examples. Went from A to B to C, A, B, C, back to A, all these things. You could try these yourself in the practice questions. The answers are here on the PowerPoint as well. Not going to go through them all with you. Next and final thing is time. It's the time at any specific position. The time interval simply means how long it takes to travel between two points. Final minus initial. If you have two times, in a question like this, final minus initial. It is a scalar, so you only need to know the size. And the unit is seconds, not minutes or hours, seconds. Quick example, find the distance, find the displacement, find the time. The distance, well, you can count the steps. You can see that this was all the way here was 7 meters. All the way from here to here was 7 meters. Displacement, final minus initial. If you don't want to sit here and count, no problem. I could do final minus initial, xf minus xi, minus 4, minus 3 equals minus 7, or 7 meters to the left. Here the time was 1 second. Here the time was 6 seconds. How do I know, I hear you ask? Because it tells me right here in the question. So you will do final minus initial, 6 minus 1, 5 seconds. Easy. Done.